Hi guys, uh, this is Josh. Welcome back to uh, the One Acre Fam channel. Um, so we did an inside RV tour for you guys a few weeks ago, and since then we've had questions about the outside. We've also had questions about the truck and uh, what we have. For Big our... booty Judy. <laughs> no, it's Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of a package it has and what we have inside. And the biggest question everyone asks is, how do we fit everybody <laughs> in the truck? with the dogs when we drive so like gonna, sardines <laughs> like sardines i'm going to walk you guys through the truck tell you what we did to the truck once we bought it um upgrade wise and also i'm going to walk you on the outside and just kind of show you the outside stuff um just so you can see what we got so never mind the dirt it's been raining oh for God. like a week here <laughs> it, been filthy. It, was clean. it was clean when we got here but of course it's not clean now um so let's take a look So inside the truck, I'm gonna hop in real quick, Nate. <laughs> well, we should say this is the Ford F350. Yeah, so we exactly. So we have the, we have the Ford F350 dually, um, and the one thing that we we added, well, I'll go. I'll talk about the things that we added here in a minute. But inside here, um, we well, have uh, my my cell charger. phone charger, which also what I use for directions. This is the Cub heads up display thing that I'm going to go over with you guys in, in, a, in a video here next week or so. Um, and over here is uh, what they call the, the tire pressure management system, the TPMS is what it's referred to. Um, and I'll talk, to, I'll show you those sensors also. So we have this that that's runs when we drive. Um, also, this truck also um, comes equipped with the, um, I guess you refer to it as an exhaust brake. Um, but what it more than likely is, is this right here is it's it creates back pressure in the turbo which helps you slow down which is a huge thing when, when you're towing. when you're towing 20 <laughs> almost 20,000 pounds of weight so that is a beautiful thing and it works amazing um so we also, have that well we also have had people ask what model so this is the xl which is like the bottom of the line mm. but when hey. we went to buy our truck we had to have a six seat because there are six of us mm -hmm. and we didn't want to do a separate vehicle. Correct. So um, this was available and actually they had to do a three-way trade. Yeah. From, yeah. it went from, I think like Bakersfield to Vegas, then yeah. Escondido or whatever. Um, so at that point we could not be picky because it was extremely difficult to find well, and the truck. The, yeah, and the thing too is, and we're like, we don't care. Just give us a truck that seats six. Like, who cares what it has? The, the reality with with Ford and how they do their models is also that um, the um, to have the the, the sixty forty split front seat is not in the top end models, not which is at okay all. for us because we bought the vehicle for a family tow vehicle to get us to to the end result, which was to see go see things. Yeah, so, and it, we and don't it fits care us about good. the bells so, and whistles. Yeah, so it's very simple. I love, we love the, the we this we has love been this. amazing. And this, the rubber floor mats, because God, I'm just getting your leg, <laughs> the rubber floor mats, because literally he can take the, the blower and blow it out <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it's like super easy to clean. <laughs> yep. It's, it's amazing. So and and, is our gloves. Yeah. yeah. The gloves. So, so the gloves. back here, the back here, same There's thing. Andrew. We put these back here. So when we travel, the kids can throw stuff in here. Um, they have the 50 States book in here right now. The kids' flashlights, same thing. Mats. Super durable. Floor yeah. mats, rubber mats. Rubber mats. Brooklyn. Um, 
Brooklyn in the back here. <laughs> and so when we when we travel, the kids sit in the back. This and believe it or not, seat, but he sits up in the front. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just hide back here? Believe it or not, when we have all the kids back here, the dogs actually lay right here, and it's amazing. They actually, they're super mellow. You we don't even know that we're, they're no. there half the time. They just lay down. No, no. yeah. At first, they're very they annoying, and they're jumping on you. So, okay. so one thing that we added, hold on, buddy, one second. So one thing we added down here just recently was a, a tote oh. underneath to try to keep things uh, organized. organized. So... Inside here, it's not it's not everything right now, but yeah, we keep in. we keep the kids' head pillows, neck pillows for traveling if they want. Oh, I keep a little a little um, fanny pack because you can't take the fireman out of the fireman. <laughs> the fireman out of the fireman. Okay, fire extinguisher. Yeah. Just in case of emergencies, and then we have those that Nate's show, got right there. Nathan, show them because it's not you need. Nathan, put it up here. The Hokina lights. So, These we found on another RV channel, and they were called um, the Hokina. Yeah. Put it up here so they can see. Show them. The ho here, put it up. Like, show the camera. There you go. They're Hokina emergency mm -hmm. lights, and they're magnetic. So we can literally stick them to the side of the truck. They're not they really can go magnetic. wherever. You yeah, they do. Wherever you um, yeah. need them to go. And they um, are. Um, they were on our Amazon store. Yes. We found them from another RVer. But yeah, anyways, most of, most of the stuff we're going to show you today is is, is going to be. It's also going to be on our Amazon store, also, so you guys can take a look at it if you want. And I'll drop the link there in the, in, the, in the description for you guys, as usual. All right, Nate, let's put it back in there. Okay, and then we got an emergency like, whistle. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a little emergency so. kit. So we keep this underneath the seat, um, and we can we can put anything else in there, too, that we want. Like, So I just want to do this for the kids. We'll probably end up putting some like some, some arts and crafts stuff and some stuff for the books for, for all the roads. So they, can, we can, they can just pull it out when they need it. Okay, so let's come to the backpack here real quick. Let me so, come up here. So one of the things that um, I wanted is I wanted a toolbox because I wanted something that I could put all of our tools in, all of our miscellaneous stuff, and and just just have things that, that we need. So I wanted one that wasn't going to affect the turn radius, the turning radius of, of the trailer because you know with fifth wheel, fifth wheels you can end up literally having to put the trailer all the way right here, and I wanted to make sure that I had all the bed to be able to maximize my turn turning radius. So. Um, you guys at um, Ranch Muffler in Temecula did an amazing job. They found this one for me. It's a low profile one and it works amazing. Um, so inside here, like I said, I keep all the tools we need. I keep missing the Tory just finally bought for me that I wanted for, <laughs> for a while, but I was too too much of a sissy to buy. Um, and this, if you guys Mama don't have this. Mama just pushed them. That's all she if, did. If you guys don't have a Viare and you're camping, um, you've got to have this. It's amazing. And then electric tires get you. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this is our fifth wheel hitch. This is the Kurt. It's the A25. It's the beefed up version, so it handles um, way more weight. Um, <laughs> I'm really bad with pin pin weights and all that. But, um, <laughs> we just know it works. I know that it's, 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 it's the heavier the heavier duty one, and it's been working amazing, um, and I love it. So the only other thing that I did to the truck is um, obviously when we bought the truck, we tinted the windows. We yeah. also um, bed liner. Put, put a bed liner in it just to protect it. Um, we had to have the holes even drilled because it yeah, wasn't even yeah, pre-drilled for that. We didn't the... have the puck system, so we had, <laughs> we had to have that all set up. Um, we put running boards on the side for mom because she requested them. Yeah, mom, <laughs> mom couldn't even get in. So I said, can we, like, do something here? <laughs> um, and also we put airbags, the, the Firestone 5,000 pound airbags to give us additional support on the rear of the truck. And I'll show you how that works real quick, too. So... This is super cool. So this is all off of remote. So it's I have two presets, and my standard right now is 70 when we travel. And when we're not traveling, I keep about 10 pounds in there, so it, they're not fully deflated because they can they can do damage. They're they're fully fully deflated. So I just push the the, the preset, and the truck will do it on its own. There it goes. Mom, show them under here. No, I'm not going under the truck, buddy. I don't know. No. <clears throat> So usually once I hook up, I'll hit, I'll hit, the, I'll hit the, the, the air ride and it lifts it up and it settles it out so that um, we have a smoother ride and the airbag makes a huge difference in when we tow. So that was a huge add to the truck. So, so that's pretty much it with the truck and we're, we're going to head over to the, to the front of the trailer now. Are we fancy? <laughs> Alright. 
So, we ain't fancy at all. So we come to the front of the trailer. We, we just recently got this. Oh. When we come to the front of the trailer, we just recently got this. Uh, it's a <laughs> tripod. It helps keep stability for the front of the trailer. Um, don't mind the legs, it's a little bent. Before, before it may or may not have ran, ran that That over. was not my fault. Yes, it was. <laughs> so that, that leg's a little bent. I'm going bend it I'll, back enough. I'll see if I can show it. Here. <laughs> it's a little wonky. <laughs> So, we had to hammer it back. So we added this um, mm -hmm. for stability. We switched this out to a, to um, for the cable for the, the, the you know for the, the, the emergency uh, pin because it, it doesn't get tangled like the wires do, and it's been really nice. So we really like that. So, oops. so underneath here. <laughs> so one thing one thing we did in here is when we first bought it it had a uh, had a single 12 volt battery which is pretty much the standard for for um trailers uh and we've pulled that out and we put two six volt um in series well a total of four so um because the six volts um hold a, a better charge a deeper charge so they law they last longer so don't mind the, the crazy looking wiring i tried to keep it as clean as i can but so these two are wired in series and these two are wired in series and then they're brought together so we basically have 24 volts of battery we're ready for we're, our solar panels. we're ready for solar we have so inverter. so we have the inverter right here um so that once we go solar um it'll just it'll, it's already in place which is pretty awesome um and then we also have the um the onan 5500 watt generator so that if we need to run off that we totally can too so so yeah so let's move over to the side here all right so i always i always put my barbecue here keep our barbecue here i i, I keep it locked because just don't know never know um, okay so one that we lost when we went uh, to this trailer we lost storage space the other trailer literally had storage space like here. Like, it was insanely huge. <laughs> there was a lot of storage. So we had to revamp our totes. We went with bigger totes so we could because we needed to. We had less space. Um, so in here, I keep all of our miscellaneous items that we need. Um, it's nothing special. Just some RV stuff, some you know tablecloths, all the things that we need. And behind it is all of our Christmas decorations because we love Christmas and we just can't let it go. <laughs> so. Um, I skip more. <laughs> and then this is what we just recently got. Just recently. Um, Oh, life changer with the dirt Amazing. and the dust and the fires. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it works good just to keep your fire going at night, too. <laughs> um, and then just little things, just all of our cleaning supplies. Um, I keep all my microfibers here, uh, lanterns if needed. And that's pretty much it. It's just very basic. We've got a charger already in place. It's hard, it's wired up, mounted here, so I can just keep our batteries charging for our drills all the time because in RV life, we seem to do more repairs than I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> in including the new toilets I installed the other day and one of them's already leaking, so I gotta deal with that when I'm done with this. So, and then all of our stuff underneath here is just- No, the lights. Toilets. You oh. just installed the- Oh, okay. So also what we did just recently is we added LED lighting underneath here. Um, it's just LED, LED uh, Strip rope lighting. lighting. Yeah, and, rope I, rope and, lighting. I, and I just mounted it with the, clips. the metal clips all around the inside, underside of the camper. And it's nice, I just unplug it and plug it in right here. And at night it adds a good, you know, ambient lighting to keep the camper lit up at night. Um, for looks and also for just for safety reasons, just so we have light outside when we're out here, uh, when we're not outside at night, just to keep us safe. We do also that, the, the, the no nose lights. The nose LED lights and then we keep the one on there. And then the front door light. Yeah, it lights everything up really good. So it's, it's yeah. really awesome. So we have all of our stuff underneath here, the kids' toys that are filthy right now. Everything's filthy from the um, rain. Keep, yeah, so, all the yeah. junk, so all the keep, things. That stuff feels stored in the. That's the stuff that gets stored in the back when we travel, but comes right to here for the kids. They when they want to play during uh, during the day. So and in here we keep Tori's best friend. It's not in there. Oh, it is. The ninja. The ninja foodie. It fits perfectly in here. So this this is, was actually the the trash receptacle, mm -hmm. which I think was a genius idea. Yeah. Um. But we don't use it for that. We have the inside yep. trash can now. And so this fit the foodie perfectly. In our last trailer, in the Cyclone, we had no dedicated space yeah, for we, that. So it was literally on the kitchen floor and it yeah. hopped around and it was so frustrating. Yep. But we used it every day so I couldn't yeah. get rid of it. Yep. But this little cubby is perfect. It fits it perfect. Perfect. So so obviously you know, with, with the family of six, we have a lot of shoes also. Yes. So. 
So this is our shoe rack right now. It's kind of minimal because um, they're all in the tote from the rain. <laughs> right there from the rain. Um, but technically, it's all loaded up. We got plenty of, of shoes here. Um, but that's 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 been a good thing. That was like a Walmart, like a Walmart find or something. Um, uh, yeah, Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. It's plastic. Yep. And, it's, and it, it cleans really easy. It, 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 Josh it washes up. everything off every time we move, yeah. and it it looks brand new every time. Yep. So. And my, of course, my, my dog. Your dog's, dog's food, food, yes. Yep. So, all right. So our wood haul for being so out this, here. This, this patio is actually um, works really good. It's oh my gosh. Protected. You know, we love it. Keep the awning out in the rain. It keeps everything under here dry for the mm -hmm. most part. Um, but yeah, we try to keep the awnings out um, as much as we can. But when the wind comes, it's just maybe it's a different dry. story. So. <laughs> so. But we're good at that now. Okay, so underneath here, we, we obviously run tire covers. Mm -hmm. um, when we're staying, if we're staying only like you know three to four days, it's not really necessary. But when we, when we stay longer term, long term, we put them. Um, we put them on just to keep them protected. Um, so we keep. So when we when we park, we put rubber chops on both sides. Mm -hmm. We also. Um, can you see that okay? Yeah, the X chalk system. Yeah. When we park, we also use the X chalks, which is awesome because it keeps the trailer from doing the shifting back and forth on yeah. the tires. And um, those that we don't they, move. Yeah, those that um, that have fifth wheels know when you when you lift up, you want to make sure these are still touching the ground. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get to the position where you're lifting your trailer and these tires have left the ground because you lose that connection, mm -hmm. which makes you're literally on on pegs when you're when when you're camping them and your trailer will just shake. So make sure they're on there on the ground still. X chalk keeps it from shifting. And the tr rubber chalks are just a safety thing. Yep. And also right here, something we just added. Thank you, uh, um, Gary. Yeah, Gary. Um, for this. So what these are is they're just um, they're just a bucket basically uh, that are designed for these. And what it does is it keeps the, these the um, jacks the jacks from going so far down because the higher you go up, the more unstable you are. So these keep it more stable and also minimize the, sh the shake and the moving. And that's what it's all about, is not having to feel that movement. So and we've been fully extended and it's like kind of creepy. It's trippy. So, <laughs> so this helps with that. Um, and they're magnetic. Yeah, they're magnetic. They won't always fit like the front ones. Right I mean, now we don't have, yeah. Because the way we came in when we settled, like it was too low, they were too low. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't put them on the fronts. So we just you know adapted with the, with the yellow blocks, so. Yep. And both sides, both, both steps, both sets of steps have these on them. To help reduce the dirt that gets in it, just one more step to keep things from coming into the trailer. So, the junk. So, and then we have these guys right the here. The cub system. The cub system. Again, we're going to do a video about that at some point here, real soon here. Um, these, these are the things that uh, are like the radar technology that um, I'll show you guys here, hopefully in a week or two, on a video. How what it this works. Is really about. Super amazing. So. Super thankful for that. Yep. There's our so, flag. Old Glory's flying today. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Shar Shar. So over here we just so one thing is every with water with seaweed because literally this is what everything runs through. Um, they say every six months. So we just switched these out. We just hit six months. Yeah. We just switched these out um, and we went from the um, the Camcos to the the the, the, the standard Rhinos. version to the to the Rhino um, flexed. Flexi. And these are super cool because super they're, duty. They're literally. <laughs> hey Nathan, hold on, Nathan. How excited were you for these? <laughs> so they're so they're, they're crush proof because like the old ones, like you step on them, they mm -hmm. crimp and they're done. So we just switched these out. And we, this is the first place we've used them, um, and they're, they're so far they're working amazing. And obviously we use the ramps too, so that we help it helps helps everything flow naturally. The stinky um, slinkies. Stinky slinkies. So, <laughs> So one thing that, that we learned, which I never knew when we were camping before we went through, started this, was how important a surge protector was. Um, yeah, so, we never had one before, and we had trailers, and we camped, and we yeah. never, ever did this. Why? Grandma had a small one. Silly so, us. No, I got you. Okay, so the, the most important thing about these is, is when you pull up, we want to hook this up first and turn it on just to make sure that we have good readings here so it'll tell you All that there's an good. issue with your your power source and, and whether or not you can use that so the first thing we do when we hook up is we, we hook, put the plug this in to the to the uh, box and we turn it on and we, and we wait for this to, to give us a reading if it's good then we can go we can proceed and we can hook the trailer up and move forward 
yeah. but we want to make sure we check that first so yeah very important because in typical campground world um you don't know what the power's going to look like you don't know what the water's going to be like right and you never know so and you don't want to ruin your yeah. trailer <laughs> no and yeah you don't want to ruin your electrical system one thing i'm going to show you real quick is these little sensors these oh. are these are the sensors that go on the tires TPMS. for the tpms system mm -hmm. so these are what feed back to that control read panel in the front in the truck so and those, that has totally worked it has worked <laughs> we actually um um when i, when I towed from um a desert to to here uh, a while ago i was actually overusing my trailer brakes and i actually heated the tires up and it told me immediately that I, my tires are running hot. Yep. So it tells you temperature. It also tells you uh, pressure. So if your pressures are good, if they've done, done, gone up or down, so it works amazing because you don't know what's going on unless you unless you're monitoring 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 it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, that's <laughs> so over here um, is obviously our wet bay area. Um, one, one important thing is um, we always run a, a water pressure gauge and it controls the water pressure so that we don't over pressurize the system. Um, the reason I've been told and I've read is they say they keep it, say keep it from 60 to 70 psi into the trailer. That way you're not over um, pressurizing the plumbing within the trailer and you start blowing things. So mm -hmm. um, we use the zero G hoses and they're absolutely amazing. We love them. Um, Everyone's recommended them, and we truly love them. They don't, they don't tangle. They, they're, they're, they're bra abrasion proof. Um, and then we run. So when we hook up the water, we also run into the water. <laughs> it's so dirty right It'll now. Be dirty. <laughs> clear source water system. Let me see. Yeah, I can get down there. Yeah, clear source. So, there it is. We love it. So it works. Worth it. the money. So we're in the clear source, and we have the elbow here. That way, the, the, the 98 degree. That way it doesn't put pressure on the hose, it just runs straight in. Um, and it runs straight into here, and, and then it does it sit in there. So, um, super, super amazing. Watch out, buddy. Okay, so this is a brand new hose. That's why I'm touching it. Brand new hose, we haven't used it yet. So, this, so this is our sewer box. We keep that here. Um, yes, we, we just, have a sewer box. <laughs> yes, we do. You should. <laughs> and we just added these uh, when we, about three weeks ago. Yep. So I wanted something where I could keep everything organized. So now I have all of our electrical cords on hooks here and all of our hoses here. And these are the two that are out being used right now, but it keeps it super clean and um, organized. So. Honestly, when he said he was going to do this, I was like, whatever. <laughs> and then he did it. I was like, wow, genius. <laughs> and then obviously all of our adapters, extra, extra hookups. So. Our dog bones. Our dog bones. <laughs> and then we keep an extra box of just all of our Fittings. miscellaneous um, post up, yeah. our um, sprayers, yeah. fittings. So, so that's that's the outside in the truck, you guys. Um, Yes, you see the sewer vent right there. Um, we do have a piece of styrofoam. Oh yeah. When we pulled out or pulled in and pushed the slide out, our neighbor was like, "Hey, do you want a piece of styrofoam for that?" We're like, "Yes, please." Yeah. It's a little close. Our neighbors are the coolest neighbors. So they, <laughs> they really are. So one thing we also added to the uh, to the trailer is these these pressure gauges for the propane on both sides the regulators it, it tells you what we have in there it also if there's if it detects a leak it'll immediately uh um shut off the system without without me having to worry about it which is another safety mechanism to, to keep um, us safe because no one wants no one wants propane leak so nope we got so two we of those, those on both sides we got yep. two tanks one on this side one on the other side and we have those to both of them and it, it works pretty good so amazing so so that's uh, that's pretty much the outside nitty gritty and the truck you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions uh let us know and as always you guys uh, if you like these videos you like all of them like <laughs> subscribe and follow our party Thanks, guys. <laughs> we're a good time Bye. Bye.